Our coverage of Colorado tonight starts with a story that takes a look at religious freedoms. A woman refuses to testify in a death penalty case because of her beliefs. And that decision has landed her in jail. Greta Lindekrantz is a Mennonite who does not believe in capital punishment. She was called to testify in the appeal of a former client, Robert Ray, in a high-profile murder case. Ray is now on death row for the murders of Javad Marshall Fields and his fiance Vivian Wolf. They died in Aurora seven years ago. Tonight, Jamie Leary on the story at the Arapo County Jail. It's all new at six, and Jamie, it's a very unusual case. We've seen plenty of First Amendment cases, but even our own legal analyst, she told me today that she's never seen a case like this in 37 years. The attorney for Greta, she also told me she's never seen a case like this. Greta was held here overnight last night. The idea was that it would give her some time to change her mind about giving testimony. But Greta returned to court this morning and she had the same response. She simply told prosecutors, I cannot answer your question. Now, I'm telling you right now, no matter how long they keep her out there, she's not going to testify. 71-year-old David Sidwell's wife has never been to jail. In fact, Greta Lindekrantz is a veteran investigator and has spent her life helping others stay out of jail. But on Monday... She spent the night in jail in a cell with nine other women, uh, some of whom were retching because they were in detox. The court is asking her to forego her religious beliefs by testifying against a man facing the death penalty. She has nothing to hide, but she simply cannot, based on her religious views, participate in the killing of another human being. Greta was hired as an investigator by the defense and worked closely with the defendant, Robert Ray, during his 2009 trial. But Greta's attorneys say that it adds nothing when the defense team already has a report on her findings. The pragmatic look at this thing is that the, the information that they want her to confirm is information the prosecution has. David says because of her faith, she won't budge. But as it stands, that's the only way she can get out of jail. And she's not going to back up when she's going to go do something. I'd hate to fight her. Her attorney has filed an emergency appeal. She doesn't need to be held in jail while this is happening. There is all kinds of case law that says that there are many other options available. Until then, David says he'll continue to support his wife and stand by her beliefs. Now, Greta will be spending another night in jail here to return to court tomorrow morning where closing arguments are supposed to happen. Uh, no clue right now if this is going to impact those closing arguments. We do know the district attorney's office is saying right now it cannot comment on the case, but there has been a huge outpouring of support for Greta right now from her church, as well as the Colorado Freedom Alliance, who has gotten involved. Um, the GoFundMe page, there is a GoFundMe page right now for Greta and her family. She's basically described as the breadwinner of the family. And right now, every day she spends in jail um, is a hardship on her family. So uh, there's a lot going on in this case. And of course, we'll continue to follow it, including a vigil set for tomorrow morning at 815 for Greta. Live in Arapahoe County, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jamie.